Hey everyone, it's Wendy K. Laidlaw here from Heal Endometriosis Naturally. Um, I always say I'm really excited, but I am so excited to be interviewing my next guest, which is Laura from Uganda. She's very kindly agreed to take some time out of a really busy day to share her experience with the Heal Endometriosis Naturally book and the 12 Week Foundation program. Hey Laura, how are you today? Hey Wendy, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for agreeing to, to take the time to come. And chat. it's always a joy it really is a joy for me because I think uh, and I get emotional even now like what people don't probably appreciate if they're listening to this or they're watching this is the journey that people have you know have come from where they were at before and hopefully by hearing your story you will that you will inspire others to take similar action so thank you so much for being here so I wonder if you might maybe just start by sharing with with the listeners kind of what you were like before the Heal Endometriosis Naturally book and program. Sure, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Laura and uh, I live in Uganda. I'm Ugandan. And uh, I've pretty much had a, you know, a, an extended uh, period of uh, pain during my period. Um, I mean, right from the onset, I started my period at uh, maybe age 11, and I can't remember a day uh, when I was uh, in on my period and uh, not not in pain and not you know not upset and not sad, and uh, it was obviously quite difficult for me, you know, while I was at school trying to learn how to basically be tidy enough not to have any accidents yeah and while at the same time taking painkillers and uh being worried when i was writing my final exams if i would be able to go through in case it, those exam dates coincide with my uh with my in my career yeah so fast forward to i think around uh, 20 2011 2012 um i'd basically been going through you know, all those, you know, bad times during the, that time of the month. So around 2012, 2013, um, I was working in uh, Lusaka on a project uh, for work. And uh, I remember this one time um, I was in bed and uh, suddenly my period starts and uh, I had to get up to go to the bathroom. And I had this huge outpour of uh, I mean of blood it, it was it was crazy it was so much blood and uh, I was I was very scared because it, it hadn't been that bad before so I, I couldn't make it out of out of the house uh, that day and the following day I went to see a doctor and then he says oh you know I think you have you know I think you might have fibroids but I'm not too sure I can't really see what's going on and then fast forward to about two months later, I finally go back home in Uganda and uh, there I was able to access uh, um, my regular guy and they checked me out. And uh, it was then that I was told that I had fibroids, just like a couple of them in my, in my, in my, in my, in my uterus. And on top of that, I had endometriosis. So I, had, I knew about fibroids, but I had no idea what endometriosis was. But I had to do my research, I'm like, oh my goodness. And that was so cool. So um, I spoke to him about it, but somehow we didn't, we didn't dwell on it much. And eventually he proposed. Uh, we, you know, moved on to planning the wedding. But even then I still had, I still had at the back of my mind that there was something wrong, you know, there's something happening inside me and my periods are worse, they're, they're going on for longer, the bleeding is, is, uh, extend, is, 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 is a lot, uh, the pain is uh, too much and uh, basically what the doctors are saying, oh yeah, you need surgery, um, you, you need to cut them out uh, if you want to, you know, to progress, you know, they, they must come out. So that was uh, 2015. Sorry, I might be a bit hazy with the dates, but please bear with me. So that was around 2015. 
and uh, soon after the wedding which was in august uh, my husband somehow had spent quite a bit of time trying to research about endometriosis and fibroids and he discovered a doctor in uh, in eastern so we you know we went to made an appointment went to see him and uh, it's then that you know he said the position of this uh, fibroid is exactly where implantation would ideally happen so if you wanted to have a baby um it you know it it is not possible so it needs to come out and i had a surgery and uh, it came out and then the following year i still had issues with my periods still had pain and uh I went to see the doctor much later but that, no that was a doctor back here in Uganda and then they say oh Laura um you know you've got a mos you've got a mos and it's fine that fibroid was taken out good for you but uh now you have fibroids endometriosis and adenomyosis mm-hmm. and I'm thinking to myself no how many big words do I have to learn uh, how many conditions can someone have and it's then that i thought no maybe i need a time out because they were proposing more surgery and i thought i had gone through i mean that surgery alone was too much and i thought no wait maybe i need to take i need to take a step back and stop and also there is the financial um, aspect um it's not cheap it's not free to get surgery done so and mm-hmm. um, for them to propose another operation means more money and yeah so we decided to step back my husband and I and uh honestly when we took a step back we didn't even know what was taking stepping back to okay we knew, we knew was stepping back from the yeah. the risk but we didn't know what was stepping back to do yeah um uh, it was it was it was it was quite it was quite depressing you know it was it was a very a very sad <laughs> time for us but that's when i started searching on the internet and he too was searching you know he was reading a lot i remember he used to talk you you try to talk to me about endometriosis and what he discovered what he was and what to so i started searching on the internet and uh, you know i read a few articles here and there suggesting what i must do and uh, at that time i had started listening to audio books a lot. So I thought oh maybe I should try searching for a book on endometriosis um uh, on uh, Amazon's um Audible uh site. Yeah. And so then I landed on the book Wendy. And uh, I checked the, the the reviews to see you know like would it be worth the buy? And the reviews were good uh or a few you know customers commenting about how it was a brilliant book. So I took my chance and paid for it. But then there was I mean I listened to the first chapter or no not when we the whole chapter it was like the first bit the first bit and then I thought to myself but should I really be listening to this um how do I know it's not someone else trying to sell to sell something and you know make it seem all glorious and you know and perfect and then I remember so distinctly thinking that Wendy's white um would what's happening to her whether what's working for her work for me because I'm black I'm different so I was you know I was fighting with different thoughts to be you know to be very honest and then I thought you know let me, let me just listen let me let me continue and honestly when I got past the first chapter because it's it's a very it's a well read how can I it I mean it's very well read to the audience and it um uh, it's very um depictive of uh, the emotion and exactly what you thought at that time like when you talk about how you know how you were suffering and couldn't get out of bed and uh, you know couldn't hang out with your kids it's something that chimed with me and uh, i couldn't i couldn't get it off i kept listening and listening and listening and it's like oh and the, oh my goodness um this is this is absolutely real i mean this is something that has that is very i mean that the author is very the reader is very candid so 
um, I remember I used to listen to it every morning and every evening during my commute to the office and then back to home. And then finally I thought, no, maybe I should, I should Google and check if she, you know, she's out there, if she exists. <laughs> and, that's, and that's when I discovered your website. And uh, I remember um, saying, thinking to myself, well, maybe I should send her an email. And lo and behold, you responded to me. You know, I honestly have never had an author respond to me. <laughs> I didn't know it was something that happens easily. <laughs> so, I mean, you responded and then told me about the foundation program. But prior to that, you mentioned uh, that there was a webinar you were running. And uh, I could, I, I, it was free. I mean, I could join and uh, basically know about you and what you've been through. And honestly, I was I was taken. I was taken in a hundred percent. And uh, I've never looked back when. I mean, I've uh, I've been with you since that time. Even when I was toying with the uh, with the thought of uh, joining the program. And uh, I've honestly never looked back. And. Everyone knows you. <laughs> my husband knows when because then I have to say, oh, it was my birthday the other day. And Wendy said, I must not eat. <laughs> 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 and there were, there were some people who do my mom knows Wendy. <laughs> what you do, like hashtag do what Wendy says, you know, like a new hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Like everyone knows you. Everyone that's close to me, everyone that's dear to my heart uh, knows you because I've spoken about you um, to them, and um, and they they know the do's and don'ts. And and he, here at home, shame, my husband has had to change his diet as well. <laughs> like he's, <laughs> he's he's eating exactly what I eat. He's um, he hasn't yet started the smoothies, but uh, he's basically aligned to you know to what uh, Wendy recommends. But but really, just to go back to your um, your initial. Um, um, question about my previous, you know, where I've come from, and that's just uh, a, a snippet of uh, where I've come from, and uh, where I've reached. I haven't said so much about what I've done with you. Maybe we will we'll progress into that. But yes, that that a summary of my past. Well, well, that's. I mean, gosh, you know, it's 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 a reminder, isn't it? Just how much pain and suffering depression, worry, anxiety, fear that you were obviously going through during those years. Um, and then as you say, you had surgery to get fibroids removed and then you developed more fibroids and, and adenomyosis and other conditions. And I think that's what can be incredibly frightening, you know, to women when they've, they're on this medical wheel of painkillers, drugs and surgery, because we're, I know I was in the past, I'm the impression that I went to a doctor or a gynecologist and my conditions and my symptoms would have got better. And it's what's frightening is when they don't get better and they get worse, that's even more alarming. But well done you for taking that step back. And as you say, you know, at that point you were like, well, where was I going to take that step back to? And what, what did that mean? And, and I'm so, you know, I think it's fantastic that you reached out um, and rather than just carried on on that hamster wheel of, of medical procedures and, and avoided ending up where I ended up, which was bedridden for three years. That's why it's just, you know, never want that to happen to anyone. So obviously you, you, it's fantastic that you read the book and you came to the webinar and then you, you made that commitment to yourself to start the foundation program. So what did you, if anyone's listening to this and sitting on the fence, like, you know, do, do I join this foundation program or not? Perhaps you could give a little bit of, you know, what, what your experience was of it and, your symptoms at the start and how much better, you know, where you are now within your body emotionally and everything as well. Okay. So yes, if anyone would ask me if they join the program, the foundation program or not, I would say absolutely, absolutely get in there, um, get in there already. Um, I, uh, at the time I started this uh, this program, I, I didn't know what to, what to expect. And uh, Wendy has an assistant called Christina, and uh, basically uh, they they work together to make sure that uh, you settle in very gently. And I remember I remember the start, at the start I was quite anxious to get in 
there, see you know, <laughs> see what you have out there, see what, what I need to read, see what webinars are out there. But um, I like that it was very, very gentle. So essentially what happens is that if you, it, this information comes to you gently and uh, you won't get overwhelmed. Yeah. And um, you, you need to have the resolve and the passion to, to be part of the program, right? Because what happens is that you need to put in the work like anything else. And uh, where I was at that time, I honestly was willing to do anything, yeah. absolutely anything to, to heal myself. And um, anyway, uh, fast forward to week one in the foundation program, um, there was you know, some basic orientation on how, what to expect, uh, what uh, what the expectations from uh, from Wendy would be, and uh, it, it's honestly very simple because each week uh, there would be new information on um, what we need to do. Like for starters, I remember the most critical thing we had to do was stop consuming food, stop eating this, don't don't eat cakes, don't eat uh, biscuits or whatever it is that contains wheat. And it's not just the wheat that you can so clearly right there um, you learn how to check the ingredients in different uh, different foods say if you're using uh, spices I mean you must check the back uh, see see what's in there so basically you learn how to you learn how to learn you learn how to stand on your feet you learn how to move forward confidently and independently so that should Wendy step aside, you can still move on, right? And uh, then the next week was a different set of foods to cut out. I think those cut out sugar, uh, then cut out dairy. And then there would be weekly webinars. And then there is, um, it's very engaging. And uh, basically what happens is that the different ladies that are on this program join a Facebook group and uh, in there they'll talk about their worries and uh, their fears and it's it's quite it's quite open so you read what's happening to someone else and you might have gone through the same thing and then you join and say oops that also happened to me and then either someone will tell you what they did to get better or when they join and say oh no yeah you know I did xyz or you might have questions about like I remember I, I didn't honestly know how to read the ingredients right. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure, okay, is it just wheat or is it wheat germ that is also a problem? Is it wheat X? And you know, it's like straight out, no wheat. <laughs> well, it's wheat X, wheat Y. <laughs> no wheat. <laughs> yes, and then um, so this engagement is, uh, I mean, it's, it's very, very intimate, it's very close, and you have, you know, you have access to women like full time, you send an email, she'll respond. And um, what I liked about the program as well is that not only do you focus on the food, Wendy, I mean, because yes, we know there's a lot of junk out there, yeah. but at the end of the day, the day we're, we're human beings, we're social beings. And what that means is that we have emotions, there are things we feel, and uh, it's very important to manage our thoughts just so we have peace in our hearts. Yeah. Um, I'm sure a lot of people who might be listening to this know that uh, worry worry is horrible and uh, worry is the root of uh, different uh, medical conditions that you might have. So this program also looks into emotions. Um, are you at peace? If you're not at peace, what is it that is in this piece of it? And yeah. then uh, Wendy will suggest basically she'll, she'll coach through coach you through that issue and suggest different ways you can uh, you can handle it. And then on top of that, it goes further to to invest to investigate uh, the different uh, products that we're using. So basically, what what socks are you putting on your skin? Uh, what uh, what what detergents are you using on your clothes? Because the clothes eventually go on your body. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that it's a holistic program. Yeah. And um, Wendy, I like that uh, you had those uh, the 
the, 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 the appointments we make to have one-on-ones with you. And uh, you basically tell us to speak to you about anything. Anything that's bothering us. I mean, this is stay out there and uh, you'll be willing to talk to us and move us through it. Yeah. And obviously, I, I can't forget to talk about the, criti- the three critical, um, the mandatory um, things that we have to do in the program. That's the uh, morning power sheet. Yeah. Then there's the uh, morning journals. And the journals, obviously, is the journaling is something that is required. So you have your, you know, your thoughts on paper and uh, it, it lets you know exactly, you know, what's bothering. Because sometimes you think things that you don't even know you're thinking them, right? But if you have, if you would send, send to paper, then uh, you, you understand what's bothering you. And then the side one is the daily meditation. Um, to be very honest, um, of the three, the easiest was the shake. Because the shake is, you know, it's just not too bad. It's easy. All you have is a shake and you can consume it every morning. <laughs> and uh, from, from waking up. But um, I initially struggled with the journaling. And uh, for me, it was because I'm, uh, I'm not keen to go back and read sections where um, I've written about things that make me sad. Like, I don't want to remember things that have made me sad. And obviously, when you journal, you won't always be happy every day. There will be days when you're sad and you write about you know, those, those sad times. But then, I mean, to be sad is to be human. So, if, 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 I mean, if that's what happened, it, it's okay to embrace it and uh, to learn how to live with it mm-hmm. and to learn how to move forward, right? Yeah. And I also struggled with uh, meditation. I ordinarily have like a wild mind. I mean, I'm always thinking things like midway through that meditation, I'm thinking, oh, did I respond to that email? Um, had I called my mom? Uh, <laughs> did I tell my husband to do X, Y, Z? <laughs> so I, I, had to, I had to learn to close it all in and basically remain in the now. Yeah. And just be in the now, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm still learning. I, I'm not an expert at journaling. I'm not an expert at... Uh, meditating i'm still learning and that's the beauty of this program it is something that remains part of you it is yeah. something that you will walk with um for the rest of your life these are these are skills that yeah. that you keep these are skills that are valuable and um honestly if if you're toying with a sort of joining please join already uh it it, it will it it's it's definitely um it's a lifetime investment. It's like, and yes, I need to talk about the, the bonus uh, that I had. I, I lost weight. I mean, just like that. I knew I was eating so much, yeah. but I was eating the right stuff. Yeah. The right stuff and, you know, the weight just goes off. But, I mean, in summary, this is something that will work with you forever. It is something you'll be able to pass on to someone else. As long as you yourself have, have you know, been able to grow in it and uh, understand exactly uh, where you are, you'll be able, some you'll be able to pass on to your daughter or to your sister yes. or even to your husband or your son. Because, I mean, all of us need good health. All of us need good health. All of us need to eat the right way. And so, so yes, yes. Um, well, thank you. I mean, thank you thank for like, sharing that. I mean... It's wonderful to hear your hear your journey, and for those that are listening, I mean, compared to how you were when you started, how are you physically now? Because obviously, you said you had pain lots of the time. I think ovulation and menstruation. Mm. So, how mm. is your body now? Okay, so basically, I used to I used to hate my period. I hated it so much. I remember. Um, there is a time my, my little nieces came to visit. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, these poor girls, one day they have to have their periods. How sad is that? I mean, that's how much I hated my period. And since, uh, well, as soon as I started the program, first of all, all the blocking is the period. And that's after dropping all the dairy and the wheat and uh, uh, sugars. So immediately I had honestly zero bloating. 
and uh, I know where it's supposed to be. And then um, I think about four to five weeks into the program, I no longer had ovulation pain. And Yay. oh my goodness, I, 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 I mean that is that is that is, that is crazy. That is that is a miracle. I used to hurt so much on the side yeah. um, at the time of population and zero pain, honestly. Amazing. And, on it, and by the time I go to maybe about week seven, eight, nine, I honestly have zero pain during my period. <laughs> zero pain. And my period is very unceremonious. I mean, before it was like a huge thing. Oh my goodness, it's starting. Oh my goodness, the pain has started. But now, nothing at all. That's and for me, for me, for me, already that's enough. I mean, that's 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 such a big achievement, Wendy. And uh, there is no way I'm going back. I'm not going. I'm not going back to the pain. I'm not going back to all that stuff. I know. I, I need to keep, keep going. And uh, more so. It's uh, lighter and uh, my credit is much lighter and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's much more manageable. I still have seven days of it, but uh, I, I hope one day, I hope one day it will be much, much, be much shorter. Yes. Well, what I'm hearing from you is that you, and what, this is what I love and this is why it's so important for me to interview people like yourself who've been so successful in the program, you've made this commitment, you've followed the step-by-step, -step, you know, guidance, but I'm hearing that you are empowered now. Do you understand what's going on in your body? I think you'd emailed Christina at um, halfway through the program and said that uh, you'd been to see nutritionists and natural paths and stuff before, and they just told you what to do, but they didn't explain you know, the, the full context of everything mm. behind that. And mm. what I'm hearing from you mm. is that you really have the power now, like you are the boss of your endometriosis and you are the epiphany of an endo boss, which I know all of us in the community um, are, are, are talking about now. You are, an <laughs> you are the boss of your endometriosis and, and you understand what's happening inside your body. You're not just beholden to this condition that was running rampage before. Now you understand all the different elements. And, and it's wonderful that you talked about the emotional component because I do talk about it in other interviews about how it's not many people are aware of what the whole condition can do to a woman emotionally. Not only that fighting to be believed, but just that emotional upset, depression, overwhelm. So how have you found the programs helped you emotionally? Um, at the beginning of the program, I was, um, I was very, very scared, very, I lacked faith. I, uh, I as was, I was a pessimist, um, and it was more like, oh my goodness, so this is going to happen. Oh, there you go again. Of course, the doctor agreed to something is worse. Oh, yes, you are. And also, I was helpless. But uh, I guess with knowledge comes power. Because, I mean, like you said earlier, in this program, you understand. When they say, when, when, when they say uh, avoid wit, uh, there is an explanation behind that. Why must you avoid wit? What's, what's, what's the history behind it? What happened to that wit uh, that has messed yeah. it up and uh, you, you must not consume it? You must not eat it. So... That kind of knowledge, I mean, it builds your confidence, right? Yeah. And uh, the more confident you are, the more optimistic you are about the future. And then also, what I like about the program is that, uh, I mean, you always repeatedly told us to be kind to ourselves, right? And that, uh, you know, if we take things one step at a time, one step at a time, eventually we'll we'll get there as long as we're consistent. Yeah. So if, I mean, if we can practice that kind of, uh, of gentleness and understanding and empathy on ourselves, I will honestly be able to pass it on to others. And I honestly um, learned to be more empathetic, more understanding of others, 
I'm also keen to keen to to listen to to others say I keep my friend complain that says oh you know uh, my 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 time is hurting because my period just started I'm I'm keen to find out what's happening keen to help like it's it's something that will emanate outward from you towards others as long as you've worked on yourself right yes. so just to answer your question directly um I feel that I have learned to take more control of my emotions, not only for myself, but also towards others. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think your journey has been amazing. You know, you've been so consistent and persistent and, um, and the results speak for themselves, which is always wonderful to see. And full credit to you for, for being so courageous and taking a, a leap of faith into a program that, you know, you're like, I know I need this. I don't know what's up ahead of me. <laughs> Um, but you committed to it. It was wonderful. So what surprised you the most about the program? Um, I honestly didn't think I would go back, I would go down to the basics in this program. I remember at one point we were learning about mitochondria. And the last time I had that word was probably my form two or form three in <laughs> secondary school. <laughs> So I didn't know, I, did, I honestly didn't know that um, it would be something that takes me back to first principles. Yeah. I thought it would be a program where we have the do's and don'ts, right? And we do the do's, do not do the don'ts, and you'll be good without an explanation to exactly why. Yeah. So that's the first thing that uh, surprised me. And then... And, uh, the second one is that um, I think because we're going down to the basics, I thought it would be uh, very rigorous, like uh, maybe being in school. But what I like about it is that it's a, basically Wendy takes you as you are. Uh, Wendy somehow follows your pace, right? It's not it's not a program that is going to becoming what speed you move at or what uh, what kind of energy you must have. No, somehow the program adjusts itself to you as a person. So it's, it's, it's quite, uh, it's customized to the person that joins it and yet it allows you access to the other uh, participants just so you can benefit not only from those people in the program, but other people that uh, are joining. So yes. that is something I honestly didn't anticipate. Oh, well, that's great. Well, it's great to get this feedback and, and to hear that. And uh, and what would you say if someone is sitting on the fence right now? I know you, you, you kindly kind of gave some feedback at the beginning of this interview, but I hope if people have heard your story and heard this, you know, the symptoms and the conditions that you've had and what you've done just in 12 weeks with your full credit I know some people say it's not easy, but it's definitely worth it, you know, because there are adjustments and change that have to be made. But the benefits that you get from energy levels and being out of pain and feeling better about yourself as a human, what, what would you say to someone if they're sitting on the fence? Um, what would be your parting words to them about um, joining the 12 Week Foundation program? What I would say to them is, um, first of all, you're not alone. You're, you're not alone. You, don't, you do not have to be alone. And uh, you do not have to walk this journey alone. There, there are lots of people that have been through it, right? And uh, there is proof that uh, it's possible to, to get better um, naturally, and that is through food, eating the right food, and uh, managing the, you know, thoughts. I would tell them, do not, uh, do not sit, do not, do not sit there and, uh, you know, stay sad. Stand up and, you know, move forward. Take charge of your, take charge of your health. Take charge of your health and. Um, Take advantage of the fact that there is someone out there who has been has been where you where you are right now and has gotten past past it and is is living a you know 
a very happy and comfortable life. You don't have to do things alone. Take yeah. advantage of that and uh, you know, step forward. There will be someone to work with you and re- reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the right people. That's what I would tell them, Wendy. Yeah. yeah. And that's lovely to hear. And I think even just you saying just feeling empowered because I think the medical machine and I'm not bashing the medical machine because, you know, it, it can do some great things um, for, for us all. But with endometriosis, fibroids, adenomyosis, these types of conditions, they're merely just trying to manage the symptoms and they're not getting to the root causes of what's causing these things. And then you end up in this spiral of feeling helpless. So it's wonderful that you end this interview by just talking about standing up and feeling empowered and taking, you know, reach out, come to the, the webinar and come and listen um, to, to more people. So thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate, I know you're really busy uh, taking the time out to share your journey. Uh, I'm so proud of what you've accomplished. So make sure that you keep doing what you're doing and lovely to hear that you get that this is yeah. not just a 12 week thing. It's a lifelong way of living um, that can benefit your body and your body's just going to always be doing what it's always doing, which is to heal itself and keep getting stronger and stronger. And um, you're a testament to, to so many other people out there and I'm sure your story will inspire others. Oh, I hope so. I hope it does. Oh, I have no doubt at all. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Well, look, and if you're listening to this <laughs> and you want to know more, there are several ways to find out more. Um, Laura was just like you, you know, a couple of months ago going, you know, I need to, if you're thinking some the painkillers, drugs and surgery is not working for you and you want to try something different, a new path, a new journey, then there's several ways you can do that. You can go into Amazon Audible, as Laura did, and uh, download the, the audio book there. Or on Amazon, there's a paperback book, and there's even the Kindle version. But I'm offering a free promotion, a free paperback book worth $14.99. Just pay shipping and handling, and uh, you can get, you know, um, explains my story and what worked for me on there. Equally, if you want to join the upcoming webinar, then go to healendometriosisnaturally.com and download the top five tips there and you'll be on the mailing list and or you can go to heal endometriosis naturally course.com and apply to work with me there but wherever you are in your journey don't give up don't despair there is another way and um, make sure you find out that today and i'm a poet and i didn't know it there you go i'm going to end on on my poetry note but thank you so much laura i really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today and and i hope you're feeling really proud of all your achievements what you've accomplished in your body I do. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Laura. So nice to be here. Bye-bye. Bye.